Welcome to MKG 222 Social Course Intervention Plan, which has been prepared for Maria Rossetti. My name is Laura Ebner and I'm presenting this intervention on behalf of the Department of Education. Today we will be exploring the social course of high screen time of primary school children. The purpose of this report is to develop an intervention aimed on reducing the screen time on smartphones by one hour a day. The proposed intervention to solve this issue will be the introduction of a new subject at school. As a result, the screen time and health problems will decrease. For this intervention, the social cognitive theory will be applied in stakeholders like the Department of Health and Education, as well as partners like the Education Endowment Foundation support our project. During the entire intervention, only non-monetary costs arise. The intervention takes place at primary schools in Australia, while the advertisement is diverse. Thus, posters are visible in various public places. Moreover, a mascot is used at events and creates a connection to the subject. Finally, there's a small clip that illustrates the benefits of reduced screen time. The intervention recommends using a positively framed message. Furthermore, it should be an emotional appeal and the target audience will be influenced by the colorful and visualized advertisement. The slogan of this intervention is Listen, Reduce, Enjoy, which shows the purpose of our intervention. However, our intervention will modify the behavior and the screen time will be reduced. With the help of surveys, observations and projective techniques, the intervention can be evaluated. Finally, unintended consequences have to be considered. Thus, solutions have already been developed so that the intervention can run smoothly. Here is a table overview of the topics that we will be covering through the presentation today. This video deals with the social cause of primary school children aged 6 to 11 who have high screen times on their smartphones. Therefore, the screen time needs to be reduced with the help of our downstream intervention. Due to the introduction of a new school subject, health problems are reduced and a deterioration in school performance is avoided. In the following, I will explain the product, the price, the place and the promotion of this intervention in more detail. In addition, suitable partners will be enumerated and mock-ups of an advertisement will be presented. Finally, the evaluation and ethical issues and unintended consequences are demonstrated. The research has shown that screen time on smartphones increases exponentially. Thus, children use their smartphone for at least two hours a day. The easier way to communicate and the possibility to play games might be the main reasons for the increased use of smartphones. As a consequence, it becomes a problem worldwide and many children become addicted. The target audience of this intervention are primary school children aged 6 to 11. To have a better understanding, we created a customer persona. Accordingly, the target audience is presented by Ashley Edwards. She lives together with her parents in Brisbane and attends a primary school there. Moreover, she has her own smartphone and a screen time of over three hours a day. Besides different social profiles, she uses Facebook the most. Consequently, she prefers to stay at home so she can use her smartphone instead of doing sport or meeting friends. The literature review showed that high screen time causes psychological and physical health problems. Therefore, the duration of sleep is shortened by one hour and physical problems like depressions or muscular issues arise. In addition, smartphones emit harmful radiations, which leads to a higher risk of tumors. Furthermore, children exercise less, so many of them become obese. Apart from the decline in health, the school performance of children deteriorates as well, as less children deal with their schoolwork. Therefore, the purpose of this presentation is to create an intervention that achieves a voluntary behavior change within the target audience. Because of these risks, a voluntary behavior change is necessary. As life without smartphones is difficult in today's society, children have to modify the behavior by reducing the screen time. In order to implement a modified behavioral change, 
the social cognitive theory is used. There, children develop an understanding of the problem of high screen time and obtain knowledge. After being aware of the social cause, children know the benefits that can be reached by changing the behavior and whether this is achievable. Once children understand the problem, they develop self-confidence and with this they are more likely to set and achieve this goal. Based on the theory, the paradigm realism of the philosophies of science is suitable. With the help of this, problems can be solved and the behavior can be improved through our intervention. The two approaches that were not implemented were the creation of a learning app and the development of a program that tracks the screen time of children. The reason why we didn't use a program was the great uncertainty whether children would understand this. Furthermore, children would have received prizes when they have little screen time, which would have only led to a temporary change in behavior. Moreover, the development of the learning app would have taken a lot of time. Meanwhile, the screen time might increase. Besides, children would have been forced to do the schoolwork first, which would have led to a rejection. For this reason, we have decided to introduce a new subject. With the help of this, children learn what influence high screen time on smartphones has. Thus, the missing knowledge is acquired. Finally, with this subject, the behavior will be modified over time and children adapt an understanding at an early stage. One major aim is to inform about the use of smartphones. As many school children don't realize the negative consequences of high screen time, this topic will be particularly addressed. For this reason, children will identify a good use of smartphones. At the same time, the awareness of the children should be improved and increased by 30% within the first year of the subject. A further objective of this intervention is to encourage school children to modify their behavior at an early stage. Thus, the screen time of smartphones should be reduced up to one hour a day. Through this understanding, it is possible to initiate an effective and long-term change in behavior as it is voluntary. As a result, health problems are reduced and the school performance of primary school children improves this intervention is mainly supported by the Department of Education. As this organization wants to provide the best education to society, they are interested in reducing screen time. Therefore, they support a behavioral change in order to improve the school performance of school children. At the same time, our project is supported by the Department of Health. Due to the health issues caused by high screen time, they want to improve the children's health and try to reduce obesity. Furthermore, the project is supported by the private health insurance health.com.au as they offer extra insurances for psychologists or health maintenance, like swimming courses for children. Our intervention fits to the company. Therefore, they cooperate with us and try to support the health of children. While the Department of Education is a stakeholder, it is also the most important partner for our intervention and supports our project the most. Thus, they provide important contributions on behalf of society and improve the intervention. Evidence for Learning is an organization that offers people an insight into how children can improve their learning and which methods will work the best. Therefore, it is important to include them in the planning of the implementation. Another partner of our intervention is the Education Endowment Foundation. This organization tries to increase the education of children. Thus, they participate in our project to improve the school performance by reducing screen time on smartphones. Following on, I would like to identify our core, actual and augmented product. Our core product will enable a healthier life for primary school children. As high screen time causes health problems like obesity, our intervention will improve this. Through this core product, we can identify the actual product. The actual product 
will create a higher awareness of the social cause in society. Thus, we will modify the behavior of the children and reduce their screen time to a maximum of one hour per day. The greater amount of leisure time will allow them to play more with friends and they can improve their health and school performance. The products and objectives are then transferred into an argumented product, which can be identified as a new school subject in primary schools. This subject teaches children about the use of smartphones and is designed in a playful and pleasant way for children, so that the information they receive is accepted. Finally, dealing with this topic makes negative aspects of smartphones visible. For this reason, an understanding of digital technologies is developed and a modification of behavior is likely. There are no monetary costs for the customers. Accordingly, monetary costs like workbooks and pens are provided by the Department of Education, as this is our main partner and sponsor. However, there are non-monetary costs, which can be just as important as the monetary costs. Non-monetary costs for this target audience includes the time children have to spend on the subject. Therefore, children should be present during class. Besides, the effort of this subject is high. So each child has to participate in class and has to take part in excursions. The non-monetary costs create barriers. Therefore, we created methods in advance to push these barriers away. For this reason, we have decided to design the new subject differently. As a result, the lessons are taught in a playful way. Furthermore, excursions are organized. In addition, many tasks in this subject are visualized and children have to paint, which leads to an increased learning effect for the children. In order to reduce the time and effort spent at home, children do not receive homework. This intervention is implemented in primary schools in order to reach target audience effectively. Accordingly, this subject is taught in all 6,240 primary schools in Australia for one hour per week by trained teachers. The reason for creating a subject for primary school children is that they tend to listen to teachers more than to their parents. The rules of the parents are respected for a short time, but have no long-term perspective and lead to a reactance of the children. Consequently, the subject addresses the target audience well and there are no barriers due to the choice of location. Apart from the lessons, this subject includes excursions to companies or sport clubs. At sport clubs, children will discover the benefits of doing sport. Our promotion strategy will be focusing on a persuasive message so children are motivated to attend the digital technology class. Due to the young target audience, we will use a positively framed message so it is simple and understandable. Furthermore, we use an emotional appeal, as school children are too young to understand moral or statistical appeal. Besides, the advertisement is visual and colourful, and explained with many pictures so that children can pick up all information. For this reason, our message goes the peripheral route. Moreover, children understand messages faster with the help of a consistent message, and therefore, we always use the same slogan, listen, reduce and joy. This means that children should listen in class and due to the understanding they reduce their screen time automatically. Through this behavior change children realize the advantages and therefore enjoy their lives. As a result our advertisements illustrate the benefits of a reduced screen time on smartphones. Consequently it is a combination of a behavior-focused and benefit-focused message as we show children what to do and why it is good to reduce the screen time. Besides a midstream audience like teachers, we use a spokesperson to introduce the new school subject. The spokesperson is a well-known primary school child. In addition, a mascot is also used as this is a suitable method for our target audience. Finally, we start at the pre-contemplation stage and therefore we inform the children about the importance of a reduced use of smartphones and with the help of advertisements we will install a modified behavior. 
On this slide you can see two mock-ups of my intervention. On the right is the poster for this intervention and how it may look like. It breaks down on the three actions that a child has to do in order to modify their behaviour. Through the striking colours, the poster attracts the attention of the children. Therefore, these steps nudge them towards a reduction in screen time on the smartphone in order to have a healthier and better life. So it guides the children and shows them how to achieve the objectives of this intervention. The poster is visualised and colourful and it contains only a little bit of text to address the target audience effectively. Besides, the images visualise and clarify the action so that children who cannot read yet can understand the poster as well. The mascot of this intervention is on the left. It can be used in workbooks and papers. Thus, this mascot is used as our logo and establishes a connection to the new subject. Besides, this mascot is used as an advertisement that attends different events. It is a device-shaped mascot and looks unhappy, tired and ill. This visualization is designed to show the children that the use of smartphones and a high screen time can have negative effects on them. In addition, the mascot informs children about the new subject and creates excitement. On this slide, a small clip shows the product in an advertisement story with three different pictures. As children like comics, it is a good way to draw their attention to our intervention. The first picture shows a girl, like Ashley Edwards, sitting at home and preferring to play on her smartphone instead of meeting friends. The second picture shows the introduction of the new subject and includes the word listen that indicates the beginning of the behaviour change. Finally, the last picture demonstrates the benefits of a reduced screen time, including fun and excitement. Consequently, the other two words, enjoy and reduced, are mentioned in this picture. By comparing high and low screen time, children can easily see the advantages of little screen time. The poster will be displayed before the introduction. As a result, children are curious and know what to expect. After the introduction, the advertisement will be visible as well so that we regularly remind children to reduce screen time. Thus, the poster will hang at school and on the way to school. As soon as the intervention has been introduced, the poster will be displayed in public areas like on playgrounds. Accordingly, the poster is displayed two months before the intervention and will be visible permanently. Secondly, the clip is shown regularly at different places on digital billboards like in amusement parks. Due to the comparison, the advertisement is only presented after the introduction of the intervention to make sure that the message is understandable. Therefore, the clip will be shown two months after the start of the new subject and will be visible for four weeks every two months. Besides these two media, the mascot participates at events for school children so that they are constantly reminded of the reduction in screen time. Thus, it will be used rarely before the introduction of our product. But especially after the introduction of the school subject, the mascot is present at all events to deepen the knowledge of the children and to strengthen the connection. The objectives are evaluated qualitatively and quantitatively. However, throughout the evaluation, the target audience of our intervention is evaluated. The first step is to determine a good layout for our new subject before starting the intervention. Thus, surveys with the children are conducted. Besides, the implementation is discussed with our partners so that all views can be taken into account. Secondly, our objective is the reduction of screen time to one hour. This is determined by online surveys where a comparison of the screen time before and after the subject is executed. To measure this, we use a tracking program on smartphones. Thirdly, during and after the intervention, we measure the understanding of the school children and look if the awareness of the social cause increased by 30%. Therefore, surveys and interviews are conducted. Finally, we ask questions like, how often do you use your smartphone? Why do you use your smartphone? 
Do you think you should reduce your screen time? Lastly, we would like to create a behavioral change. Qualitative methods are used to determine this. Observations are conducted at schools to see how children behave. Projective techniques are used to get to know their attitudes towards the use of smartphones. Furthermore, parents are involved as they can describe the change of behavior of their children well. Our team understands that this social cause has a significant impact on the Australian children. Therefore, we have taken ethical issues and unintended consequences into account. This intervention focuses on smartphones. Therefore, the subject only includes little information of other digital technologies. However, in today's society, different digital technologies are used. Thus, technologies like computers or tablets are not sufficiently covered in our subject. Consequently, the subject should be adjusted so that all digital technologies can be taught adequately. For this reason, we will divide the technologies into four categories so that one category can be covered each year. Another problem is the lack of implementation and reception of information by young children. Thus, children often don't think ahead and don't project the information they learn on them. For this reason, the children continue using their smartphone without any rejection. Therefore, it would be better to extend this course to high school. There, information can be recorded and implemented, so the understanding is better and it leads to a modification of the behaviour. To sum up, the Australian primary school children aged from 6 to 11 have a high screen time on smartphones. With the help of our intervention, the creation of a new subject based on the social cognitive theory, we will modify their behaviour and reduce their screen time. Largely respected organisations like the Australian Government and the Education Endowment Foundation support the development of our intervention. The campaign has only non-monetary costs in order to reduce the barriers for the customer. Furthermore, the project is carried out at primary schools. At the same time, there's a wide range of advertisement, like posters and clips that address the target audience effectively. Furthermore, quantitative and qualitative methods are used to evaluate the results. In addition, this campaign has made justified solutions for ethical considerations and unintended consequences. Thank you for listening and I hope we will work together to ensure these changes are made for a better future.